Hi, I'm glad you could join me today. Today, let's do something a little bit different. Today, I'm gonna start with a canvas that's just, it's dry, doesn't have any magic white on it. So I'll have them graphically run all the colors across your screen that you need to do this painting, and let's get started. I'm gonna start today with a two and a half inch brush. I'm gonna put a little paint thinner on it and go right into some burnt umber. Very thin paint and just a small, small amount. And I'm just gonna put a little wash up here on the canvas. This is just burnt umber. And just wash the canvas. Just applying a small, small amount of color. Okay. There we are. Now I'm really scrubbing that paint into the fabric. Okay, take a tiny bit more of the thinner, and I'm gonna go right, right into a little bit of phthalo blue. Didn't clean the brush, didn't clean the brush. Takes very little of this blue. It's a very strong color. And we'll just throw a little happy wash up here. And by wash, I mean a paint is so thin, it's, it's almost like water. This will dry in just a couple of minutes. It'll dry even faster here in the studio because we have all the, the lights on the canvas at home. You might want to give it a few minutes to dry a little bit so it's not so runny. But very thin, very light. Okay. And that gives us a little background color. That easy. There we go. All right. Let's lay the brush down, and today, let's have some fun with a knife. I'm gonna go right in here and get some titanium white. And let's, let's just start playing like, maybe there's some little cloud shapes that just sort of float around in the sky up here. And this old knife will do fantastic things. Fantastic things, but you gotta turn it loose and let it go. Gotta let it go. Be, be brave with it. See, now it's picking up that color underneath. And you can make all kinds of beautiful little cloud effects just using the knife. Just using the knife. Maybe it goes right on off the canvas there. This is your sky, so you, you put things where you want them. Let them happen. Let them happen. And when you're Painting with a knife, normally you probably use a little more paint than you normally do because it's, it's thicker on the canvas. It has texture when it's dry. It makes a beautiful, beautiful effect, though. Now, just clean that knife off. And we can just rub this a little bit, and it picks up the undercolor and just blends the bottom of these clouds right in. All the beautiful blues and browns that we've got there. And there we go. See how easy you can make a, a sky just, just using a knife. You don't have to have all them big fancy brushes. All you need is a nice, nice knife, a little practice, and have some fun. Now, maybe, maybe in, under this beautiful little sky here, maybe there's a happy little mountain. I'll take some Van Dyke Brown. And I'll take some Prussian Blue, good, strong, dark blue. A little bit of a lizard and crimson. Just mix them together here. Put a little white in there. Okay, so we got blue, brown, a little crimson, and a small amount of white. Okay, let's go up here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There it is. I knew there was a big old mountain lived up here somewhere. You just have to sort of find him, decide where he's at, and drop him in. That's all there is to it. And when these paintings are, are dry, they look, they look a great deal like traditional paintings, where you would take washes and glazes and all those good things. And these paintings will give you that feeling. Okay, now we'll just rub that right in like that. Just rub it. Because we want this mountain to be a little bit lighter down toward the horizon. So I'll rub it, let it pick up that color that's underneath. excess paint you can just scrape off. All you're looking for is that dark, dark value in the canvas. There we go. Got some little bumps and things in there. 
All righty. Now we put some. Let's put some highlights on this mountain. Let's take. I'll tell you what. Take some white, a little bit of alizarin crimson. Just a very, very small amount. We don't want to set this mountain on fire. I just want to warm it up a little bit. And it's also a little easier for you to see at home. And maybe there's a, maybe there's a little light that plays right down through here. So let's let it strike the canvas. Just like so. Wherever you think light would strike, let it play and have fun. Okay, a little bit. Yep, right there. There it is. There it is. A little bit right there. You just let all these things happen. Let them flow right out of your mind. They're there. They're there. Come right down. And down to some of this color and let it pick up, blend together. Okay, now I'm going to take some white, a little bit of Prussian blue mixed into it. And we'll make a little shadow type color. And we'll go in here and just here and there we'll put some indications of a few shadows. I don't want to cover up all that dark. Just here and there. A few little shadowy things happening. I want this painting to be very soft and very quiet when it's done. Okay, maybe there's a little light strikes right out here on that peak. It's your mountain. You let light strike where you want it. And that's where we want it, right there. There we go. A little shadow right in there. There's another happy little shadow. Just, just let those little shadows just play and fall in there. Can you clean the knife again? Just blend that together so it makes it look nice and misty. See how easy you can just bring that together. And I'm really pushing quite hard here. I want to blend that so that it's misty. Okay, tell you what, let's have a we will have a happy little foothill back here. And for that, I'll use a little brown, a little sap green. Let's put some white in it. So we got some brown, some sap green, some white. And I'm going to put into that, we'll just put a little bit of this blue. Just a little blue. Maybe this is phthalo blue. There, that's about what I'm looking for. Okay, let's go right up here. <clears throat> Maybe there's a happy little foothill lives right here. And first we'll just, still just using the knife. I want to just use a knife today and show you what can be done. See there? Just drop in. Just a little indication of a little foothill back here. And then you want it to be very soft at the bottom. That you need that little misty area. And that's your separator. That separates everything. Now I'm going to just keep using that same color. Maybe I'll add a small amount of blue to it, make it a little bit more into the bluish hue. Let's go right over here. Maybe there's a, yep, there is. I see it. It's another little bit that comes right down. See, this is a little darker. It's a little closer to you, so it stands out a little more. See, I'm just pushing this up here and there to make it look like little trees far, far away. And as things get closer to you, you want, you want to have more and more detail in them. Add a little white so I can create some mist down here at the bottom. And as things get closer, you begin making out color. You can see, you can see all kinds of little colors as things get closer. So if you wanted to begin showing a least, least little amount of color, I'll add a tiniest little bit of cad yellow here and there. Tiniest, tiniest little bit. Just want to put an indication here and there. Don't want overdo. Just a little. It's too far away yet. Don't want a lot of detail in it. Still too far away. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Shoot. I'm going to add a little more brown to that. Same color. A little brown. See, and you just keep making these colors darker as you come closer. And maybe, there it is. There it is. Now 
a little hill. See, you can make it as many of these little hills as you want. Just decide how many hills are in your world and drop them in. Drop them in. You can do anything. depth in a painting using nothing but a little knife. Still same old color. A lot of rubbing. That rubbing makes it very smooth. It'll, when this is done, it'll look almost like it was done with a brush. It'll be so smooth, I hope. I hope. That's what we're shooting for anyway. And it takes a lot of this blending and rubbing. And you can spend hours and hours on these. They're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's a good painting to do when you're not in a hurry and you just, just want to have some fun. A little more color right in there. Now, I want to lighten this a little, so I'll add a small amount of white and blend it. It's not so bright and shiny, it's a dull green. Let's go back up here. And maybe you're beginning to make a detail in here. Little, little things are starting to happen. And you can vary these colors. It's not bright enough, you can add a little yellow. You can make it as bright or as dull as you want it. Just let these colors play through there. Here and there. And this is an excellent painting to do to, if you have a lot of paint left on your palette, because you can just use any old color that you have and put all these things together and just make beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paintings. And it, <laughs> you really make friends with your knife. You'll get to know that thing just like an extension of your hand. And that's when the fun really starts. Okay, maybe. Let me go back and get a little Prussian blue, a little Van Dyke brown, put a little white into it, a little sap green. Add some more brown there. Now then. Now then, let's go up to the canvas, maybe right in here. Maybe there'll be some water, so we need some, we need a little bit of dark under here to show a reflection. So I'm gonna just rub some dark in here. Just rub it in. Some over here. I don't want to kill totally all of that, but most of it. Let a little bit of that thin area show through. There. Okay, that'll give us some dark. And onto that, we can add light. So I'll take some white and a little bit of a alizarin crimson. We'll get pretty here. There we go, just a nice pinkish glow. And let's go right up in here and just lay a little of that here and there. Just let it play and have fun. All these little colors just happen. Some over here. Very hard right there, very hard. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go into some white and a little bit of, let's go into some phthalo blue. 
white, phthalo blue. Cut across. Let's go up here. And we can begin just laying some little watery looks right on there. Just come across. Now these little lines that you're putting in, they need to be straight. If they're not straight, it's not going to look like water. They really need to be straight. There. Just keep going back and forth. Keep them straight. Can't say that enough. this back and forth all over. This is just a little bit of titanium white. And just let it go across there and pick up color. Let little things happen. See? Just touch, come across. And bring all this together. Probably sounds loud, but remember this canvas is dry. This is a dry canvas. Normally we're working with a canvas that's wet, and so you don't hear all that. The, the knife would just glide across there. And I've got a little Van Dyke Brown, a little burn umber mixed here. And we'll just put some little areas right here to make it look like where the land comes down into the water. And I'm just touching the canvas. Just touching. This just sort of separates everything. Maybe a few little happy bushes right along in here. Some of the different yellows. Okay. Clean the old knife off. Maybe, maybe. Take some blue and some brown. A little sap green. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Right in here. Maybe there's a little peninsula that comes out here. So we just lay in a basic shape. Very dark. Very dark. There. Maybe, maybe. Underneath is a little color in the water. We want some of that dark underneath. Create the illusion of a reflection. We need a reflection in there to set it down into the water. We'll take some little some blue and some white. Just let that go across and that easy, that easy gives it the impression of water. Let me just pile up a lot of. This is just all the dark colors that are laying around my palette. Let me just pick them up. Maybe there's a right here. There it is. There's a happy little tree that lives right there. We'll just, a little evergreen. We'll just start right up here. There he goes. Just work it back and forth. Back and forth. See there? See there? Evergreens are fun to make with this. There's another little tree that lives here. It's a good way to close in this corner. We'll just make it a little tree. And it's also a good way to use up any, any old paint you got left on your palette. There, we'll just come right around like that. What the heck? Let's bring this right around. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. And it's just Van Dyke brown and a little Prussian blue, lizard and crimson, just all your dark colors. Let's just, just throw all your dark colors in here. Sap green. Here we're just trying to fill up the rest of the canvas with nice dark color. There, 
And these paintings are they're really a joy to do. They're a lot of fun. A lot of fun, as I say. These are the type of paintings I like to spend hours and hours and hours on. These are mood paintings. If you're in a good mood, oh, you can paint some of the most beautiful, delicate things. If you're in a bad mood, if you just had an argument or somebody kicked you, these are ones you can really take out your hostilities on. Strong, strong paintings. There. And we've used nothing, nothing but a knife. Except we used that two and a half inch brush just to put on some wash to give it some undercolor. And some of that color is, is playing through this. You still can see it. So you have areas that are very thick with paint, areas that are very thin. It makes a beautiful, beautiful composition. Maybe and I got a small amount of white, so I'll just take a little white and just begin rubbing it in here. See, let all these little things just happen. Just let them happen. We'll get some sap green and rub a little green in there. A little green, a little brown, a little white. Just play these colors back and forth. Back and forth. I want to keep this very, very dark in front. Maybe our light's coming from the right. Maybe right here in this tree, there's a little light striking out here on these leaves. I don't want a bunch of color. I want to keep it dark. Just, just, just. So there's a little highlight. A little highlight. A little light. Maybe it's striking right here. Hmm, isn't that something? Maybe there's a little land coming down. Whatever, whatever. Put a little highlight here and there. You don't want too much. Okay. Okay. All kinds of little grassy things happening. You just see little touches here and there. Don't really see a lot happening. Okay, let's go over here. Maybe there's one that lives right there and comes right down. Yellow ochre, Indian yellow, cat yellow. Then I'm just mixing them all together on the knife and just letting them happen. Just whatever, whatever. Let the canvas do the work. Make all those little beautiful things. And this is such a fun painting. I really hope you try it. I really do. I think you'll be, you'll be very satisfied with it. You send me a letter and, and thank me for giving you this. And I'd like to hear from you. Don't get to answer all of them, but I, I certainly, certainly do read every single letter that comes in. Every one. Okay. See? Just play with color here. Don't let this get too light. I want this to stay very dark. So it helps create the illusion of distance. Let's go back to the other side over here. We'll put a few little happy things in here. Let them go. Just like so. See, and every so often, clean your knife, and you can just gently, gently bring all this together. Very light. If it's too bright for you, rub it. There's so much dark on the canvas, it'll pick it up and make all kinds of beautiful things happen. You can darken it just by rubbing it, blending it all together. As I say, this is a super, super painting to use up any paint that you have left on your palette. Super, super painting for that. It teaches you to love color and to play with it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, go back and clean up that edge a little bit. Make it look like maybe just a little water line here and there. We just about got us a painting going. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe you want to put, like, there's a little stick here it lives. You just take your knife. Sticks are easy to make with a knife. You can just drop in a happy little 
little twig. Don't want it too bright. I don't want it to stand up too much. I want it to be very quiet and subdued, just back here, hiding in the dark. There he goes. Just like so. Give him a little arm. And the least, least little touch of highlight so he stands out. This is just a light color. Looks like it has a little blue. And I'm really not looking for specific color. This is just stuff that's left over on the palette. Okay. And we can just blend him in let him go. And I think that'll give you a good idea of how you can do a painting using nothing but your almighty knife. So on behalf of all of us here, we'd like to wish you happy painting. See you next week.